Hey, what's up guys? It's Mike with Alpha Reptile and today is the 18th day of Jam Pack July. Today we're going to be going into my greenhouse full of vivarium plants and showing you what vivarium plants I currently have, what I'm still growing, and it's just going to be the kind of large tank that I have set up, not all of the little ones that I have around my room. If you guys are interested in a more in-depth kind of little tank video, make sure you leave a comment in the comment section down below. That way I know you're interested. With that being said, why don't we turn it around to the greenhouse and get started. So this is like my, I guess, greenhouse. Uh, basically up top I have some LED lights. This tank is, I believe, 35 inches long by like 26 inches tall by 24 inches deep, I'm pretty sure. I don't remember the exact dimensions on it, but that's pretty close to what the dimensions are. In here there is quite a lot of different plants. Uh, unfortunately, I started slacking on my plant care for a little while there. Uh, it is coming back though, so that's good. But basically starting from this side, we have a Neo Regilia. I don't know what like subspecies or um, like species that is. Below that we had a long, uh, it was a Peperomia of some kind, but I don't remember. And there is new growth coming out of it, so it's not dead. Uh, but it is very close, so I'm glad that I caught that in time. Uh, most of these really dried out when I went to Belize, and then I've been kind of nursing them back since then. On top there, we have a couple pinguiculas. At the back there, we have a coconut orchid, or Maxillaria tenuifolia. Right there, we have an Angracum sesquipedale, or the Darwin's orchid. Uh, we have another Neoregilia right here. And then this guy is a species of Dachidia. I do not remember exactly what it's called. If I have it in my notes, I'll throw it on screen right now. But as you can see, it's kind of taking everything over. It's just growing over everything. So that's good. Uh, it'll do really good in a dart frog setup or maybe day gecko setup. Haven't quite decided yet. Here, this, well, stick is now obviously dead. But that was a mimosa. That was a type of sensitive plant. I'm not sure if it was a mimosa pudica or if it was uh, some other type of, of uh, sensitive plant because it grew really tall and most don't. So I'm not entirely sure exactly what that was, but either way, uh, it is now dead and for right now gone, but uh, there's still some hope that it might come back. This guy right here, I have no idea what it is, but it looks really, really cool. It really hasn't grown much at all for me, so I don't know if that's because of my care or what that's from. It's just really not doing all that great, unfortunately. Um, back there, so this guy here, I don't remember what kind of orchid it is, and it no longer has a tag, but this guy is an orchid. I can't remember what kind it is, but... Um, it is an orchid. <laughs> that's, that's all I remember. Back here is actually what's called an ant plant. So it's trunk you can see there, or it's stem I guess you can see just below there. And essentially what happens, it is called a myrmecophyte, or a myrcophyte, something like that. And basically myr, or M-Y-R-E, is kind of stands for like ants basically, because they're myrmecodia. So, um... You can see there that basically on the inside is a hollow set of chambers for ants to live in. Now obviously I don't have those kind of ants that live in Canada, but at some point I might try and source some or introduce some or something like that and then find an ant-eating lizard that would eat them and just grow them from here. I think that would be really cool, but I would love to work this into a vivarium in the coming future. The rest of the plants at the back, that big vine is a vanilla planifolia variegata so it's a variegated vanilla is a just neriad you can see it at the back there in the center of your screen that is some unknown type of just neriad that i was sold and i've just continued to grow and go into some of the other cool plants that we got as you can see we have a beautiful blooming phalaenopsis orchid this thing was in bloom literally all of last year like until this year it was in bloom the entire winter and pretty much all summer as well. So that is one heck of a plant. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to throw it in somewhere, but it looks like it had new growth and is now being uh, influenced by that cork bark there. So it's going to have a little bit of a weird leaf, but that's okay. There's no real harm done with that. So 
whatever. It is what it is. Uh, this guy here, this is not the one that flowered, but this is a Masdevelia uh, Revolta, and it was doing really well, but it is currently bone dry, so I'm going to have to go through here and water all of these. Um, and as you can see, it was starting to flower, but I think it might have uh, actually ended up drying up because of the lack of watering. And then this one is a Scaphusophallum minori, marinoi. I'm not even going to try and say that again. That one's doing really, really well, uh, but again, that does need watering as well. Uh, I fell back on the watering. I will be watering just after this video because I'm realizing now that everything needs to be watered. Um, this is a Sideria japonica. As you can see, it had one right before I left, a flower spike, and then it's growing another one now. This one died while I was gone because none of these plants ever got watered, so that's not great. But uh, the second one we have is over here, and this is the Phalaenopsis velocia um, variety Corellia cross sib. So this has an incredible uh, scent to it when it flowers and so does the Sideria japonica. This smells like lemon. It is so so nice to smell. This guy here, uh, this kind of bare root one, is a... oh man... something Bangkok Sunset. It's like a mini uh, Vanda essentially. I can't remember exactly what it's called but that is what it is. And at the the last one in this tank, well, besides my uh, grape orchid or the Dendrobium aggregatum, I believe is what it is. Um, besides that, we have a pitcher plant. As you can see, all the pitchers are doing very well. This guy here, I don't want to rip it, but you can just see how good this pitcher is and how big they are. Super, super nice. I believe this is... Nepenthes madagascariensis, I'm pretty sure. At least that's what I was told, so I'm not 100% on that, but you guys can see the overall uh, setup, I guess. I do at some point, hopefully this summer, although I know summer's already almost coming to a close, uh, I might try and redo this, and I might even just set up like a full vivarium and then just have these all growing in there. Haven't quite decided on that one yet, that would be a pretty sweet project in my opinion. Uh, no promises, but it's certainly an idea. Uh, I will, however, go over, uh, well, we got a couple Ficus Benjamina variegata. We got the Metallic Begonia, or B Begonia Metallica. And then we also have this crazy hairy one back here. Um, I don't remember what that one's called. Somebody told me, but I definitely forgot since the last video I made. And then over here, we have one of the old vivs that was for the uh, Leucamellus froglets, and now it's basically just a frog, well, a plant grow out tank at this point. Uh, I'm not going to name every single species in here, but you guys can just see how many different kinds of orchids we have in here. Mastivolia filaribunda, we have some Ficus corsifolia. Um, there is some um, Begonia Felt, uh, I can't remember what that one's called, I really can't. Um, it's a Begonia species of some kind. Back there we have even more, it's not focusing on what I wanted to, but we have uh, more of the Penguiculas. We also have a Macodes Patola, or the uh, like veined orchid, I suppose. Really, really cool plant that guy is. We have the Narcochylix lynchi, which is this guy here. Um, this stuff grows like a weed in my tank, in pretty much all my tanks. As you can see there, we have an Echinospala shuori. I, good luck, I, <laughs> I don't know, no. Uh, and then up here we have, I can't remember 100% what this guy's called, but it's a mini cat layer that I've had for a little while. This is a Bulbophyllum. There's some new growth on here. Uh, there's actually a little, uh, a little isopod zipping around in there as well, so that's pretty cool. And then we got this guy right here, which looks like he is 
uh, or very well might be on his way out just due to not having any roots but we'll see if I can fix that hopefully that would be ideal um, but this guy here is a that guy right there is a Bulbophyllum reticulum good luck I'm, I'm just going to show you guys the, the the tag there and then this guy is a Bulbophyllum ambrosia or something like that something along those lines uh, I don't know exactly what it was but yeah, you can see this tank is doing pretty well as well. And that kind of does it for our tour. I don't really have much else to show you. Uh, I do have another couple tanks up there that are just growing some plants. But like I said, it's really not all that much. And honestly, most of the plants, I have no idea what they're called. So it'd be kind of pointless for me to go through them with you. With that being said, I'm going to end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did like the video, make sure you click that like button down below. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything like that, leave it in the comment section. I reply to pretty much every comment that there is there. And if you enjoy my content and want to follow me for the rest of Jam Pack July, you can also click the subscribe button down below. That will guide you guys to uh, my channel, and you guys can watch all the videos from July. So have a good rest of your day, you guys. We'll catch you tomorrow. Later.